Welcome back to Plot 25. Uh, oh, she's looking dishevelled. A little dishevelled. Yeah. yeah. It's been quite a while since we've done um, an allotment vlog. This is officially vlog 106, let's call it. Yeah, it's it, now we're starting the wind down towards the handing the keys back at the end of the year and moving our growing into uh, our garden. It's, um, it's a shame. But it took us a long time to kind of concrete that decision and say, yeah, that's definitely what we're going to do. Yeah. And uh, to, you know, establish the fact that we've not been down here for, you said it was, feels like a couple of months. I, I've, I mean, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, and I could have checked the date of the previous vlog. Um, sort of 105.5, this being vlog 106. Um, but it feels like about six to eight weeks it probably is. It's been, it's been a while. Yeah. It's, um, emotionally, when I cut off from a place or a person, I'm, I'm done. That's me done. Yeah. Um, and I know that we've got stuff to do, and that's the only reason we're down here now. If I could just walk away, I would. But yeah. I, but I won't do that. That's fair. Because we've got to, we've got to get all our stuff down. Um, you know, we've got to. Uh, tidy up at least the beds one of the things it's funny it's um, there are parallels with performance plaza some of you know about performance plaza one of the things that was a big feature for us was that the council used to do the grounds and then they stopped and we didn't have the means to do them mm -hmm. and the means to do this has been halted Yes, I wondered where you was going with this. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And so it gets to a point where you're just like, I'm not tidying this up now. I, I'm not doing it because I've not because I've been prevented from doing it. Yeah. And it's got to the point now where it's going to be a huge amount of work, so I'm not going to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take away everything we're taking away home and start getting the garden prepped. So there'll be a few vlogs before the end yeah um, and we're gonna tidy the beds up and make sure that they've got weed fabric on them for over the winter so whoever does take over I don't know what to do about the fruit bushes uh, no no I mean like you've said there'll be a few more vlogs uh, this year uh, in terms of kind of wrapping things up with uh, with plot 25 uh, and now Paul's absolutely right and I do feel as though I should just also just jump in and say um, the situation in terms of being able to get access to equipment to maintain and manage the plot is not really anyone's fault other than uh, the electric board um, because they were supposed to come and fix the electric meter which would then allow the shop to be reopened and for people to access that equipment and they were supposed to turn up on a certain day and they didn't so technically uh, things have been delayed considerably and the main reason is the the fault lies with the electric board yeah plain and simple I'm willing to do as much tidying up as as uh, you know my motivation will allow over the next uh, sort of six to eight weeks well here's the thing if we tidy the beds up all this on the paths and stuff will die off in winter anyway true yeah, yeah yeah so there's no point in us cutting it and breaking our own backs and then creating a load of grass that we then have to get rid of yeah yeah when we're not even going to be here next year it just all seems a bit those of you that have been with the plot 25 journey since right at the start saw the absolute shit tip that this plot was when we took it on yeah. nobody had tidied it up for us yeah do you know what i mean people had just left and then we were left with but that was part of the fun yeah at least the next people that take on this plot if they take it on as a full plot because there's been talk about splitting it in two yeah yeah, yeah. Well, like, they, they like do a that. lot of them are but that would go right through three main beds if they did that so i don't know what they're gonna do but at least if somebody takes it on as a full plot, they've got a load of beds that we've worked hard to build mm -hmm. uh, ready, ready to go. Yeah. You know. But in terms of what you are, you said about the, uh, the fruit trees, the fruit bushes, mm. I'm not 100% sure myself, to be honest, at this point. I mean, they cost us a tenner each. And the thing is, it's like, I don't want to leave too many things in too many places because the next person that takes this on, that might not be Barry Boulevard to them. Of course. They might be like, oh, I'm going to get rid of all this. And 
it's like, oh well, then bushes cost us a tenner, so I'd rather take them home and pot them. And at least try and save yeah, them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good shout. Yeah, yeah good shout. I don't uh, see any reason. Particularly with the blueberries. Yeah. You know, because, yeah. you know. And we've got our uh, strawberry grower, strawberry planter thing. We we'll have take to that. take home. We've got our lovely coloured plant pots. We've got our shells. Hey. Yeah, and uh, of course, oh. as was mentioned, I think, in the previous vlog, we will, uh, over the course of the coming weeks, be clearing the shed and um, getting all of the postcards down, taking them home, putting them in our box at home Can as I just a say, special box. By the way, that when we got here, he was here under the table. We've not been for weeks and weeks and weeks, and as we walked onto the plot, Jason saw him and went, hello, and he came out straight away. As if to say, hey, yeah, hey, I've missed you guys. So, truth be told, we don't really know what we're going to do down here today. Um, we wanted to update you all because there's been a fair few people asking about the allotment. And I what's needed going on. to come down. I needed to get this over with. Yeah. Because I've been avoiding it for for like I said, I'm already emotionally switched off, and I'm the I'm the funny one with stuff like that. You're not necessarily are you? But I'm like. I have been actively avoiding yeah. coming down here because yeah. I'm annoyed and there's the truth of the matter I'm not going to lie about it one person and a group of minions around him has completely ruined mm -hmm. down here for us yeah. and for many people and a lot of people can look past it and move on and just you know hope that things get better things that yeah 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 but it's like it's because we've been on the committee we've we've even had to pull away from that because it was, it was too much it was a constant reminder that basically one person has effed things up so badly down here for so many people and for the uh, allotment um, society as a whole and it's just like I don't want to be around that I don't want to be around that See, I'm, I can, so I've had to pull away. I can sit here and just, I can put that on a shelf, all of that, and I can sit here and still enjoy the company of Mr. Puss Pants. I can still look at, around the plot, and especially on, you know, we're officially in autumn now, but this is feeling like the, uh, the remnants of summer today. It's quite warm, it's lovely. I can still take something from this. Oh, but, I mean, so, so do I. But, it just, yeah. it, it's took me a while. Yeah. To and you're right. Even today, I was hey, I, I was like, I, I really don't want to go down there. Yeah. But now I'm here and I've seen Mr. Puss Pants. I'm, I'm, and I'm reminded how much work there is to do before we actually hand our keys back. Yeah. But we've got plenty of time. We've got till the end of the year. Um, it's you know, not worried about that. It's not phased me. We both actually said we've not had a proper look around the plot yet. We literally came down, saw Mr. Puss Pants, set the camera up, and sat down. Um, but we'll have a little bit of a look around the plot. The most important thing of all, we both said, it's not actually quite as bad as we thought it was going to be, considering it's been six to eight weeks since we've yeah. been down here. And even longer than that since we've kind of If you of look mowed. through the tall weeds, it's like, yeah, yeah, there's plenty of them, but the, it's like, oh, okay, so there's not that much. Yeah. Still got sprout plants, plants going in and out. I know, I'm going to have a look at that in a minute. He's got to show you stuff, and I'm going to fuss Mr. Puss Pants. And I'm also going to show you what, because I've been looking in that direction quite a lot on my way during this uh, this intro. I'm going to just show you what I've been looking at over there because, as far as the eye can see, pretty much, well, you know, the next few plots along, it actually looks quite nice. It does. So there's been some productivity down here by our plot neighbours. Um, and our plot neighbours here are lovely. And if any of our plot neighbours watch this, sorry we've let this get into such a state, but now you know why. Yeah. Um, yeah, and there's not much we can do about that. It will get tidied up before we leave. That's what matters. Yeah. What's, what's the matter with you, mister? Yeah, right. 
Hi. Gary. You know when nature gives you signs? <laughs> so this was the original pair. Shut up, you. <laughs> <laughs> this was the original pair that grew on the tree and even that's a bit like it's like it's got a belly button and that but this was on the floor over there so I'm gonna leave it on the floor for the for the uh, critters the creatures but look at this one what's this about I, who's this this is wrong it's a special kind of pair we got one pair off the pear tree last year and it seems as though the pear tree this year has given us two so hopefully next year it'll give someone three. Or more, who or knows? More. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> so that's where Mr. Puss Pants was sat, squawking at us whilst we were uh, discussing our pear situation. Anyway. Onwards. Just to stare. <laughs> just for the record, we've just waited for about 15 minutes for Mr. Postpans to get off my knee. He just got off himself and went and sat over there, so. He hasn't been pushed off or anything. But uh, it's only right that you should be part of the closer for this vlog. Yes. He's never sat on my knee before. Ever. And he just did that all of his own accord. Did you catch it? I did. Caught some of it. All of his own accord. Bless yes. his little cotton socks. Oh, <laughs> I saw you. I saw you th thinking about a chobble. Be, be careful. I know. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not going to, uh, whilst I'm focusing on the camera, I don't want to uh, risk getting a chobble in. Uh, so we were going to uh, get all the postcards off the doors of the shed and we were going to do a lovely little segue or a little speed it up bit. But then Paul spotted and remembered that we've actually used a stapler to staple some of, uh, some of the corners. Yeah, because the corners were coming up. So we really need the staple remover from home. Um, we want to basically cause as least, at least damage as possible to the and, lovely cards. And we'll bring a fork as well for the, the drawing pins. Yeah. Because that's much easier. We could probably use something in the shed to get the uh, the drawing pins out, but the staples, I think, if we tr try it, we're going to end up damaging them, and I really don't want to. No. Um, However, we've got a lovely pot of tomatoes that we, we had no idea, you know, and some of them won't be great, but they'll all make great pasta sauces. So I can make a batch more pasta sauce for the freezer, which is brilliant because it's like I've already got about eight in there, I think, from this year's batch of tomatoes, most of which we just enjoyed on salads and just sandwiches and as is. Oh, they've been amazing, as you know. Um, so yeah, we've shown you a little bit. We've shown you what the plot's looking like at the moment. Uh, as you can see, we said it at the start, it's a bit overgrown. Um, nothing particularly daunting and nothing that we can't deal with between now and the end of the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all good. So there, there will be another vlog, uh, or two or three, at some point before we close this chapter for TVG and um, reinvigorate, because don't forget, gardening was at home was where we started. That's what led to us getting a plot. We're just going back now, uh, is all. Um, but yeah, he's, he's a reason to stay. Mm. Yeah. But saying that, you know what? I wouldn't even rule out once everything's finalised here and we've moved on to growing in the garden, like Paul said, 
The shop is open to the community and if everything gets salvaged and saved down here, which I really hope that mm. that is what happens and they get a new um, board of trustees and some new committee members, if things continue and get back to normal, I'm not going to rule out popping down now and again on a Sunday, visiting the shop and of course, hopefully, visiting Mr Puss Pants <laughs> as well. So that's always an option in the future if everything, hopefully, gets resolved down here. Adorable. You adorable little fur monkey, <laughs> is what you are, aren't you? I love the fact that his fur's so long on, on the neck you that I can it flatten it out. <laughs> flatten it he's out. He's, he's not so keen on that. <laughs> no, he don't mind at all. Oh, right, we're going to get home. Yes. Uh, I love you, mister. Love you. Mm -hmm. Love you guys. Thank you for joining us on this random one. Uh, we hope to see you again soon. Don't forget, um, yeah, allotment vlogs are not the only thing we do on this channel. We upload a meals vlog every Tuesday outlining our last uh, seven nights dinners, which helps to give people ideas for throwing together quick, easy, down to earth vegan meals that are delicious. Yeah. Um, and we do a live once a week. Oh, we try to. Yeah. And more besides, I'm always doing shorts, me when I'm at work, walking around all and Town Centre. It's bits and things. All bits and things. Get these tomatoes processed into pasta sauce and we'll see you again soon. And until then, please be excellent to yourselves and each other. Bye loves. Ugh. It's time for us to go, little Mr. Monkey Man. I promised him I'd give him a few biscuits before we laugh. Well then you should. For it would be rude not to. Good sir. You can hear already. You can hear, can't you, already? You heard the empty pocket. Right, what's this more for me? Biscuits as well. Oh, thank you for the cuddles today, love. Thank you very much, and I was very pleased that you were the first person we saw. I know he wasn't, but thanks.